Hey guys, Danger Acton here. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to retrofit your current kayak into a C1 using the new Jack and Kayak C1 saddle. Alright, so when you first pull your C1 saddle out of the box, this is what will come with it. Obviously you've got the full saddle, nothing attached to it except for the necessary stuff. It also comes with the back band piece unattached, you're going to do this yourself. It comes with enough Velcro to put in your foam or whatever you want to do with it. it comes with two tabs for the drop down tab, we'll get into that. And it comes with all the screws you need plus a couple extras. As well as two thigh straps for, I'm going to show you how to screw them in to go over your leg to hold you in. And it also comes with two pieces of foam for under each knee, as well as this foam to put on top of the saddle to sit on. So to outfit the kit, the main things you're going to need are very few things. You need a one quarter inch uh, drill bit, a seven sixteenth wrench, a normal Phillips head, and electric drill will make it a lot easier. So the first things you need to do to retrofit your boat, first step is go ahead and take out the sweet cheeks and the hip pads. You don't need to take the back band out. You can leave it in the way it is, and then you can attach it later in the assembly. All right, so to take the seat out, what you need to use, using the one quarter inch drill bit, just go ahead and drill out the rivets that are on the side tab. Make sure you use protective eyewear because the little metal shard can be dangerous. So what you want to do is you want to take the drill bit and stick it directly over the center of the rivet, right in that little hole, and you want to slowly drill through until the head falls off. So now that you have the rivets undone, to get the seat out, it's a little bit of a work, but what you have to do is to get it out, you have to push one of the side of the seat forward and one side back so that way the seat is sideways and easy to pull out. Then just pull the seat out. Alright, so the next step is to take out the U channels on the front of the track. We we'll use just a simple Phillips head. For a play boat, it's really simple. If you have a creek boat, it takes a little bit more work. You can refer to the instructions on how to take out the C1 creek boat U channel. So to undo the U channel and take it out, just use your Phillips head and unscrew the two screws. An important thing to do is just make sure you keep all your screws together for when you're putting it back in. So now that you have the front U channel off, go ahead and pull your front wall off. Now go ahead and take out the bottom screw of the back U channel. You don't have to take the whole thing off, just the bottom one. And for easier access, you can pull your back band forward a little bit. You need to go ahead and make sure you take out your phone block or your foot bag, whatever you have up front, so that way the saddle will go all the way in. Now that you've taken off the bottom screw of the back U channel, you're ready to go ahead and put the saddle in. But first, you need to attach the back band piece before you put it in. To attach the back band piece to the saddle, use with what we provided, the screw, the washer, and a bolt. And there's one longer screw than the rest, it's an inch rather than three quarter inch, that's used for the back band later. So make sure you use the shorter one. With the flat side forward, you attach it just behind the seat where the two holes are with this part on the bottom. You go ahead and stick the screw in. Same thing on the other side. And then you flip it over so you can attach the bolts on the other side. Then using the 7 16th wrench, you go ahead and screw it in. Now that you've got the back band piece attached, you can go ahead and stick it in the boat. You want to stick the front end in first. You want to keep the back band piece in front of the back band so you can bend it forward and screw the U-channel back in. Lift the U-channel up over the saddle and then shove the saddle in. And you want to keep pushing it all the way under the wall until it reaches one of the holes. Once you've got it in, you want to go ahead and reattach the back U channel. You want to bend the back end piece a little forward. You want to push as far back as you can, keeping it as squared up as possible. Then taking the screwdriver, you screw it back in. Now that you have the back U channel reattached, it's time to put the front wall back in. First, go ahead and reattach your wing nut. To put the wall back in, the flatter side goes to the bottom. You go ahead and stick it in a little bit of an angle in this little divot. You kind of push down a little bit. You want to get it in there. And then pushing at the bottom, and then you push at the top, and keep pushing until it flattens back up. Now that you've got the front wall in, you're ready to put your U-channel back in. The U-channels on both sides will require a little bit of trimming. You can either use the cutout that is provided, that you have to trim out of a piece of paper in the instructions, 
or you can simply just trim off a little bit on each side until it fits into the slot smoothly. You can use a knife, a red devil, or we're going to use a bandsaw because it's easier. So when trimming your U-channel, you want to make sure that also that it fits in smoothly, but mainly so that way the holes line up on the tab. So that way this drop down tab hole lines up with the U-channel hole, so that way it smoothly goes in. Once you've got the U-channel lined up with the hole, you're ready to go ahead and screw it back in. You want to go ahead and go ahead and use the bottom one first, so that way it goes in smoothly. After you've done the walls, you're ready to go ahead and attach the back band to the piece. The first step is to go ahead and pull off the foam off the plastic a little bit, so that way you're able to drill a hole to attach it. You go ahead and just pull it off a little bit, just enough to get about half an inch down. And then, taking the drill that you used before, you want to go about half an inch, maybe a little more down, directly over the center piece, so that way it's perfectly in the middle of the back band. Go ahead and drill through. Now you've got your hole right over the screw. Then you lift the back band up over the piece. And then you see you have three options to attach the back band to. I usually just start with the top one. The screw you're going to use to attach it, like I said, there's one longer than the rest, just about a quarter of an inch. That's the one you can use for the back band. So to attach the back band to the piece, using the screw that's just a little bit longer than the rest, you put one washer on, you stick it in the back band, push it all the way to the plastic. It may take a little bit of pushing. Then, once you get it there, you want to stick a bolt in between the back band and the piece. And remember, you have to have the bolt in between the back band piece and the back band. So it'll look like this. Then, choosing whatever hole you want to use, I use the top one. You stick it in, and then you're going to use the wing nut that's provided on the other side. So the next step is to attach the thigh pad. Using the white plates on the outside, you line it up as square as possible. You're just going to be using these two holes. What you want to do is you want to line up to where it's fairly square, and using the same drill bit, you want to drill two of the holes also through the tab. Once you've got the first hole drilled, go ahead and just stick a screw in so that way you can keep the holes lined up when you go to drill the second one. Now that you got the tab ready, you want to go ahead and stick the screw in with the washer. Stick it into the hole. And you also want to put a washer on the other side as well. And then, using the bolt with the black tip, go ahead and stick that on the other side. You don't need to tighten it all the way right away with the wrench. You can go ahead and just leave it in kind of loose and you can move on to the second one. After you got the back one in, you're ready to go ahead and put the front one in. Same thing as before. Stick it in, but before you put the washer and the bolt back on the other side, you go ahead and put in your thigh strap. You've got the two holes, you can decide which one for length. With the Velcro facing towards you, you decide one of the holes, you stick the screw through the hole, put the washer on the other side, and then put the bolt on the other side as well. Then with the 7 16th wrench, go ahead and tighten it. Once you've tightened them down, so the way the thigh pads work, with the looped end through, stick it through the D-ring, then just loop it back over and you got your thigh strap. You can repeat that whole process for the other side. Once you're done with the thigh pad, you're ready to go ahead and put in your foam seat and your knee pads. We've provided you with plenty of Velcro to put it in whatever way you want it. I'll give you a quick idea how to do it. So the seat goes with the cut in point to the back. You can get it as lined up as you want. Remember, it's just Velcro. The way I like to do it is I take the bottom side, then I take the rough side and stick it on the foam piece. You can stick two or three strips, however many you want. One on each end if you want, or three on down the middle. Attach it like that. 
And then I find the easiest way to make the Velcro line up from the saddle to the foam piece is you take the other side of the Velcro, then go ahead and just attach it. Do that on both pieces. Then get it as lined up as possible. Then you're ready to go. So with the knee pads, I like to do the same thing as the seat. Take the rough side, put it on the on the knee pad, whatever positions. If it's a perfect square, I like to stick two up by the top, just a couple inches down. Then I also like to stick two, not all the way at the bottom, but kind of in the middle. Then you do the same thing, take the softy side, facing down on it. Alright, so now you have all the pieces attached. What you want to do, I like to fold it. Then these two pieces are going to go right on the saddle, right about here. So that way it holds there. And the middle pieces are going to go right on the hull of the boat, in between the saddle and the thigh pad, right about here. So I like to fold it with my fingers. And you stick it in. And it's not important how lined up it is, but I like to do it as good as possible. You can just push it in. And just push down, get the Velcro nice and secured, and you're ready to go. Same thing for the other side. So if you want to go ahead and put your hip pads back in, what you can do is take one of the soft sides of the Velcro, you can go ahead and just stick it over the tab, then there's a place for your hip pad to stick back over. Once you put everything in that we talked about, you want to go ahead and vacuum out your boat, get rid of any little metal shards from drilling or any plastic, so that way it's nice and clean, and then you're ready to take it to the river. BAM!